Fergal, well done. A, a, a good 6-3 win over your compatriot Fergal Quinn there and, and finished off in style with a 140 break. That must give you a lot of confidence going forward. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, to win um, to win the last frame you need in one visit and as a bonus, making a total clearance 140 is obviously very good. So, um, yeah, it was a good good, um, good result. Um, it was quite scrappy today. The balls kind of went kind of scrappy. It seemed every frame, checking the first seven, seemed to be down to blue, pink or black. And we both could have won the frames we we won and lost and then um but I said the two best breaks I made were in the last two frames so that's encouraging. This is the the biggest event of the year obviously and it, it, it is so much riding on it. How, how do you feel your game is coming into this week? Um, obviously better than maybe other parts of the season obviously had a decent run in the pro series even just to win that uh, got through the group the, the, the next group didn't do so well but it was a lot more matches and then had a really good week up in Northern Ireland last week um, like three days playing Mark Allen, three days playing Jordan Brown. So again, kind of felt the benefit of that even today that, you know, um, you know, when you kind of need in the last frame or two to be able to do that break, you know, it's, it's the kind of thing I haven't really been doing too much, as I said before, but playing a little bit too much on your own. But when you're playing those kind of boys, you know, you have to be very, very sharp. So hopefully that practice is, has paid off and ho hopefully there's more to come. And you're probably, uh, in terms of these qualifiers, you're probably as well placed as anyone to explain to the viewers at home just just how brutal and tough this process is. You've, you've had had experience the, the joy of coming through in that last round in final frame deciders and the heartbreak of losing final frame deciders. Why, why is this this event and trying to get to the crucible just different from any other one? Well, as you said, it just it is the most important tournament. I think you, when you kind of accept that, you know that you do feel maybe a little bit different, or there does seem a little bit more pressure on it then you're in a better position to cope. But yeah, it's, it's nearly like a, a, a tournament in its own right as such. You know, you nearly feel like in your little section, everybody's trying to win their section to come through and qualify from their section. So as I said, it nearly feels like you've won a mini tournament just to qualify. Um, and obviously the, the end carrot as such as to play at the Crucible. That's the, uh, that's the, the beautiful bonus that's at, at the end of it. And I wanted to ask you a little bit about this. a lot of tournaments. We, we've see, we see you go in before a match, and you, you know you sometimes sit in your chair out in the arena. And, and is that to try and get comfortable with the environment before the game to try and sort of you know, visualise what it's going to be like out there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I usually do it maybe even just for a minute, just literally just to go sit in your chair and you know literally just walk. You know, you're kind of walking around the table, sit in your chair just to get get a little picture of everything. It's not a great visualisation, just more just that you're comfortable. So you're not taken by surprise by anything where your opponent is, where the the table, the other tables, can they see where the crowd is, you know, the scoreboard. So just literally you're comfortable. So ideally from the start of the match, you're more likely to be zoned in on it and not kind of maybe a little bit distracted. The, the ideal scenario would be if you're, you know, if somebody was playing the first time at the Crucible and rather than just leaving to the day, you can imagine if you went, had, even the night before when there's no crowd, they just to sit in your chair, get your bearings, see what, it's in st uh, what, it, what it entails, it has to be a little bit of advantage, just to make you a little bit more comfortable, you know, there's no, no guarantees for doing it, you play great, but just, you want to be as comfortable as possible in whatever arena you play in. And in your quest to get to the Crucible this year, is Stuart Carrington up next, what, what, what sort of game are you expecting, that'll be a tough game, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's a tough game, Stuart's a very good player, we've had a good few battles before, um, and I'm sure tom tomorrow's no different, but I said I'm happy with uh, today, I did a good day, good day in the office today, and then, Go again tomorrow night, tough match against uh, Stuart. Well, good luck, Fogel. Thank you very much.